In this video, I'm going to show you on the iPad how to use any of the graphic and logo templates that I sell for Affinity Designer. So the very first thing you're going to need is Affinity Designer, and you're also going to need a font app called AnyFont. And AnyFont is a $2 app, but it'll save you a lot of time and frustration installing a whole bundle of fonts. And on your Mac or PC, go to your downloads and there'll be a fonts folder that's zipped and a logo or a graphic and logo folder that's zipped. Let's leave the fonts folder zipped, but let's unzip the graphic and logo templates. So one way to get the fonts over is to airdrop them, but you could also go into your iTunes, make sure you have your cord attached and click on your little iPad icon there. Go to file sharing and then in any font, you'll want to drag that zipped fonts folder in there. Let's switch back to our iPad and go into the AnyFont app and you'll see all 70 typefaces that come in this bundle. So we don't want to install all these fonts at once because it'll overload this font program. So what I like to do is I'll do all the A's, install those, then go onto the B's, install those, go onto the C's, install those until we get to the end of all the fonts that we need to install. So what we want to do is Let's click on this little check mark, select all the A's, and then click install. That's 14 fonts. Click OK. And then tap to install. Allow. Install. Type in your passcode. Click next. And then install. So now all the A fonts are installed. We'll go onto the B's, C's, D's, and all that. So after you install all your fonts, let's go ahead and transfer the template files onto the iPad. So back in iTunes here, let's click on Designer. And what we can do is let's take these four folders here that come in Graphic and Logo Bundle Volume 1. They have all the Affinity Designer files in them. And let's just drag that into the designer folder and let's go into our folder on the iPad and you'll see all the templates are now in here and let's go into one of these templates and you'll see that the font is loaded if your fonts look really plain or they're too big or too small it's probably because the font hasn't been installed yet and sometimes if you've already installed your fonts and they're still not showing up, what you can do is you can actually exit out of Designer and essentially restart it. And now when you open it, your fonts will be active. So let's go in and I'll show you a little bit about using these templates in Affinity Designer. And it's the same as the desktop version essentially, but the interface is a little different. Uh, right here, there are shortcuts. If you click on this little question mark, you can see shortcuts to what these little icons represent, which is, is really helpful. We can go in here, and one thing you'll probably want to do first is select the artistic text tool and go in and highlight the type, and you can change it to whatever you want. And depending on what the wording is, you may need to go in there and adjust the tracking, which is the letter spacing. And we do that by clicking on right there and then go to positioning and tracking is kind of like the overall horizontal letter spacing. You can also change to a different font. One of the fonts that comes in the bundle is, I think alpha would be a good one. And you can go in here and you can change your sizing and click OK. And that size it up a little bit. Um, let's say we want to go in and edit this gator. 
So we can go in here, you can see how the shading is all grouped, the highlights for the gator, the eye, the teeth. So let's say we wanna change the gator color to a green. Let's go in there and change it to like a nice dark green. Let's go back into our layers and let's change his teeth to white. So that's how to get started using the Graphic and Logo Templates Bundle Volume 1 for Affinity Designer for iPad. To find out more, follow the link on this page. Thanks for watching.